Uh, just a few more little things to do. I went ahead and the first thing I did was um, shine up. Well, I didn't shine up, but I knocked off the sharp edges off of the uh, parts. I took some 800 grit wet dry sandpaper and just kind of sanded around all the parts and knocked the sharp edges off of it. I didn't do any heavy duty rounding or anything. Just basically just kind of smoothed them out. And the reason I went ahead and did that first is because then I was going to put in those inserts in the holes and those would have been in the way from trying to sand the parts. So what I did was um, I took the uh, that little 16th rod let me see if I can that little 16th diameter rod. And at first I tried to cut them in the lathe and I was going to try to cut every piece the same length and all that. And it turned out to be too much trouble. I mean the parts um, this stuff bends easy, it's so small and trying to cut it and everything. So basically all I did was I just cut them off as anybody would, you know, with a razor knife, rolling it on the cutting mat and cutting off some pieces of all different lengths, but generally longer than they needed to be. Okay, so I cut off a bunch of little pieces, put them down in the holes, put a dab of glue in the bottom of the hole and put them in. Then I went... Um, let me show the part here. And then I went, um, I went across the top where I put those pieces in. As you can see, I'm in the holes. I just put the parts in the vise, both of them, and I took the end mill and I went across in one whack and just made them all the same height. Um, that turned out to be a whole lot simpler than trying to cut each piece exactly the same because they're just just too tiny and it was too much trouble on the lathe and. Uh, as you can see, I also made a little breather uh, detail, and that's just a tiny little piece. I didn't measure. I just kind of milled or put cut it on the lathe and then just just whacked it off, and left a little stem to go down in the hole and glued it in. Um, and again, I did try to film making that. I made a couple of these little breathers, different sizes, but it was so hard to film the way I'm set up and everything. It really didn't show much. It was kind of it was a lot of trouble, so I, I kind of have to come up with a little fixture to make where I can get my camera back up in a spot that I need to get it when I'm showing a lathe, little tiny stuff. And then you can see where I've just kind of it been hit with sandpaper and knocked all the sharpness off of everything. So the last step really is to just cut that base down to the thickness of a kind of scale looking flange. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead cut both pieces at the same time. I'm going to flip them upside down in the vise and I'm going to let the flange sit on the top of the vise. So when I take a cuts across here and get down to the size, that flange is going to be exact same size all the way across. Uh, one other thing I did was these parts are just under 3 8 wide. So I put a 3 8 end mill in the in the uh, in the machine and made sure that it's going to cut everything in one pass. So here we go. We'll just do a little machining down, probably fast forward through some of it, get the parts out, clean them up, and then I'll show them. Okay, now I'll go down an additional 10,000. mocked up on a big block. Um, you can see there where I've cut the flange down and then I just took some double back tape and stuck them to this head just to kind of get a, a look. They fit perfect. Um, and you can see all the little details now. Everything kind of how it looks. Um, uh, all I did after I machined that flange was I um, I just hit it with a little file on the corners and stuff and smoothed them up, knocked the burrs off, and then I took a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of slicked up the edges. 
Um, I mean, they're not perfect on there. I get the. Uh, I'm just using tape, and I just kind of stuck them on there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, coming out really nice. I mean, they could really be dressed up with some uh, fasteners down in the pockets down there. They um, some boots on these uh, inserts here. Having some boots, some 90 degree boots would even look nice. Um, I mean, they could be painted or whatever. I mean, that would be kind of. Um, you know, I don't want to paint these, not this one set here, but, uh, and there's not been, I haven't done any polishing or anything on these, but they came out pretty nice as is. They have a nice machine engine look to them, so, uh, there you go. And this was all done manually. There's no CNC involved or anything like that, and a couple pieces of scrap quarter inch material, uh, and just a little time and, and practice and and uh you know just just planning ahead and uh you know it can be easily be done all right so uh hope you guys enjoyed the uh you know the series there on just something simple you know they didn't involve a whole lot of programming or anything and uh i think they look good enough for for a hemi i think they'd fit right in on a build I may just keep these heads aside, like I said, and just uh, just keep them as a memento or something like that. Or if somebody has questions down the road about these videos, I can take the head back out and point some things out, maybe. Um, or head. I keep saying head. I don't know why. Valve covers. Damn it. Um, but there you go. You know? And uh, thanks for watching this segment of uh, Machine and Parts.